What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel Everyday Cody for the Everyday Guide. Today we're going to do something I haven't done for a while. We're going to do a good old fashioned YouTube gear review. Yes, I do draw some of the things I review. I feel it gives me more intimate knowledge of the product. I don't know, it works for me. Um, the product we're going to be reviewing, if you couldn't tell by the drawing, is the Trustfire T30R. This is the first ever LEP or LEP that I get my hands on. LEP stands for Laser Excited Phosphor. I'm not going to get into the science of it because it will bore you to death. But what this does is it allows for a very unique beam pattern. Um, and that, that, that uniqueness comes in the form of throw or candela. Now, usually candela is an overlooked uh, value. When it comes to flashlights, everyone concentrates on lumens. So, before I show you beam shots, and I will give you some really cool beam shots, let's get into some of the specs. Now, the max lumen on this guy is only 460, right? So, you'd think, oh, that's not really that bright. But I'll put it to you this way. Before I tell you the candela, I actually contacted a buddy of mine who works at a um, very popular photographic store. And I asked him, can I shine this light into the lens of my camera? And he was like, if that light has the specs you say it has, it will damage the sensor on your camera. And the value I'm talking about here is Candela. This light has 302,500 Candela. It's got a max beam distance of 1.1 kilometers. That is where the LEP factor comes in. It allows for a really intense hotspot and um, enormous amounts of throw. Now, this light, put, to put in terms of people are going to understand, this, is, this light is like a sniper rifle. It's like the Macmillan Tac 50. When you're in your home and you want to shoot the burglar hiding behind the other burglar hiding behind the refrigerator in your neighbor's house, this is like that. It is... It does one thing really, really well, and it kind of doesn't do much else quite well at all. Okay, now uh, before we get into beam shots, let's get into what's in the box. Obviously, you get your um, Trustfire T30R with, a, with an 18650 rechargeable battery. It does take a USB uh, Type C. So now, well, you can see that Type C, uh, so it charges actually quite well and quite fast actually. Um, in the box, you get this. I think it's a microfiber cloth. You get a really plush um, little carry bag. It is like, mm, it's like soft and it's really plush. Um, and you'll understand why in a second. Uh, you get the lanyard. I don't know who uses lanyards. And then you get uh, your charging cable. Uh, you get the manual, which you will need, and you get a spare o-ring and a spare, like, keyring holder. And that's what you get in the box. Now, the reason I would imagine that this, uh, this carry case is so plush, with the name, with the name Trustfire embossed on it, is, guys, in South Africa, this light costs 5,300 Rand, right? It's a very unique, very modern technology, uh, so... So it is pricey, uh, no, and I would say that someone who's going to buy this light is going to have to have a very specific purpose. It will fulfill that purpose, but it has to be for a very specific person. You've got two methods of activation. You've got a tail switch, right? And then you've also got a side switch. Okay, so modes, let's get the old book out here. Uh, let's start off on low. So. Low mode, low mode is 8 lumens and you get that for 58 hours, one click takes you to 95 lumens that you get for 6.5 hours, one more click takes you to 460 lumens which you get for 3.5 hours. Everything is memory stored and operatable from the tail switch. The tail switch does allow for momentary on, however, it cannot tail stand. The switch extends just a bit past this little uh, protective bezel, so it can't tail stand. Okay, now let's roll in indoor beam shots. And as you can see from this, right, at th this is like just, I'm just taking you through a small piece of my home. As you can see, it's not <laughs> the best tool for close quarters, okay? 
and the beam and the brightness you're seeing in these shots is very indicative of the actual brightness uh, that I'm getting from the flashlight. I've, I've, I've set the camera to mimic the, the, the environment as closely as I possibly can. So give or take, that's more than likely what you're going to see indoors. Now, when we move outdoors, the LEP or LEP technology comes into play. The beam is intense. Now, who would use this kind of thing? I would imagine somebody like a hunter, maybe people who hunt at night. Um, if hunting in South Africa is, is quite common and, and digress a bit, but it's actually a very important part of, of, of conservation. And so if you're hunting at night, something like this can identify an individual animal, right? Whereas if you have something that has more flood and you point it at, at a group of animals, um, often the, the, the people hunt on people's farms. And this kind of thing can identify an individual animal that is the, the, the target of the hunt because of, of age, sex, etc. Et um, whereas, like I said, something with a more of a flood won't be able to. I, I, I don't think it is a flashlight to be used in tactical operations, close quarter tactical operations, simply because when you use a flashlight, you want data. You know, if you look at me rolling, um, I'll roll in some B-roll of the, the um, Olight Perrin 2, and you'll see the difference between lumen and candela. The Perrin 2 is high lumen, low candela, but it provides me with a lot more data, right? Visual data that I can use to make decisions. Um, in, in tactical operations, in where, where you'd use it as a defensive light, not only for blinding someone, but also you need to retrieve visual data, right? And this just isn't going to do that for you. Like I said, this is a very specialized tool. Just some more stats. It is one meter drop safe. The uh, waterproof rating is IP68. Um, it does have a battery level indicator on the um, side switch. I don't know if that comes up in your screen, uh, but basically... Green is good, orange is between, I think it's um, 50 and 20 and reds below 20. This is available from Torch SA. As I said, it's not a cheap flashlight, but if you need something that is going to be able to reach out and, and touch something at distance, the LEP or LEP technology is pretty much uh, destroys or blows every other type of technology out of the water. I want to say a huge thanks to the guys at Torch SA for always supporting the channel. Um, Henry Beeman has been with us or with me from the start and he makes a lot of these reviews happen. Just one other thing, I don't want to talk about the, the weight in the hand. It is a really, very nice flashlight to hold in the hand. The, the grip area is has horizontal knurling and then the part of the cap that you twist off has vertical knurling and it is a very nice thing to hold and it does, does come with a pocket clip you will have to carry it bezel up guys that is it thank you for taking the time to check out this review i hope you've enjoyed it i will see you in the week for a vlog i am reviewing the um nightcore bp18 backpack next weekend so consider subscribing to this channel if you do like your edc gear reviews that's it guys have a good week be safe train hard cheers god bless